Hey everybody, it's me, Aries Double Eighty Three. I'm with my baby cakes. Um, <laughs> she's drying her hair. Well, I just wanted to um, try and review Whirl, who's pretty cool. I think Hasbro Toy Shop has him, but he's sold out. He has chicken legs. This is his robot form, and he has pincer hands for holding stuff. Um. He has a un um a una eye well just a red eye it's uh, it has light piping but I don't have any light source available here's his back and he stands up pretty good with his chicken legs I'm gonna transform him into hello pad mode um but for now in robot mode he has good articulation he has the ball joints on the shoulder um, at the elbow, he has two swivel joints. Oh, two joints there. He has joints at the hip, the knees, and the ankles are non movable. <laughs> he does have a. I, I heard that you can fix his legs so that he doesn't have the chicken walk thingy, but you have to take them apart. All right, I'm gonna transform. All right, here we have part two, Hello Pad mode, which uh, reminds me of a <clears throat> um, Robotech uh, Girl Walk mode. Oh, as you can see, have um, there's weight issues, so can't. <laughs> He's back happy. The propeller is kind of stiff. It won't spin as soon as you hit it. That no, that's okay. <clears throat> the world does come with uh, these attachments. Since he doesn't have any arms, I mean hands, you can just fold out the claws into his um his arms, and then attach these things. They hook on by clipping into these nubs on his arms here's some other weapons that come with world this looks like a whole bunch of missiles and a gun Alright, that's it for girl walk mode. Hello, Ped. Now time for helicopter mode. Alright, this is the last video. My setup. Alright, zoom. So, um, here we have Whirl. This is him in helicopter mode. Um, he does come with weapons that you can click and plug into ports this uh, weapons plugged into a port meanwhile this uh, missile launcher is clicked onto uh, one of the wings on the side he has um, this extra piece which you can either fit onto his arms by um, hiding the pincers and then slipping this on fits into the the grooves on his forearm as you saw when he was in robot mode or you could clip it onto um onto parts like here you see this would be able to clip into there but it would be facing up which is highly logical The canopy opens over here. This is a homage to the Generation One figure, where you could um, put in a little micro figure into the cockpit because it was part of a different toy line. This transformer, like many modern transformers, also comes with uh, decal stickers to me it makes the toy feel more like a model kit 
and I think it feels more expensive <laughs> it adds more value in my mind because once you put the stickers on it's customized to your own liking you could also if you wanted to panel line it I'm sure the Japanese version will have panel lines on it I recommend getting whirl when you can it's a great homage to the generation one figure I got it at Toys R Us for about twenty three ninety nine, but now they raised the prices. It's it should be in the almost thirty dollar range. Hasbro Toy Shop also has it, but the last time I checked, it was sold out. So that's it for this review. I'm Aries 0083, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.